Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. And today we're gonna to be opening up the Vanguard deck sets, the triple deck set with Orphis, Graham Grace, and Favre Neal. So we're gonna be opening up each one. I wanna say a quick shout out to our sponsor, 50 Cards, for providing these boxes. 50 Cards, if you haven't heard of it already, it's an online store where they have bundles for both Vanguard and Shadowverse. Decks, playmats, sleeve, everything you'll need for both Vanguard and Shadowverse are available at 50 Cards. And be sure to use code Nexus to get 5% off as well. So thank you to 50 Cards for sponsoring these boxes and for sponsoring the giveaway as well. That's right, you heard me. We're giving away these boxes. There's gonna be three random winners and each winner is going to get a random box assigned to them. Details about the giveaway are gonna be posted in the link below. The goal is to get to 200 likes. So once we get to 200 likes, the giveaway is gonna go live and you guys will be able to sign up to participate and possibly win one of these boxes. And without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the unboxing. All right, I think we're gonna go in order here, starting off with the Graham Grace one and kind of work our way up to Orphis. So a little handy box cutter here. Got the wrapping off and go ahead and take a look at the box. So we got Graham Grace on the front and we got some Dear Days characters whose name I completely forget as kind of like the main lead for the Grand Grace deck. And this is supposed to be a storage box. Oh yeah, look at that. So we just slide this piece out. So after sliding that out, we got ourselves a storage box so you can keep your deck and stuff in. So that's actually really cool. So I'm gonna open the flaps up and woof. That looks nice. So it comes with a deck box as well as the deck. I'm gonna pull that deck box out first real quick. That honestly looks really, really nice. This is a really good quality deck box. Honestly, I was kind of skeptical at first about the price of this product and why it was like kind of like MSRP at like $40. But this is a really good quality deck box and a really good quality storage box. So like, the fact that you're getting all this in one product, so it comes with sleeves as well. So that's really, really cool. So you can sleeve your deck, you got your main deck, you got your box, like you have everything you basically need starting off playing this game. So I think if you're interested in playing Keter, Dark States, or Brank Gate, this is honestly a really good product to get started with. I'm gonna go ahead and put the sleeves away. I do wanna open this deck box up though. So this is the box, it's got a little Velcro sticky, got enough space in there. I would say this is probably enough space for a double sleeved uh, 50 card deck, maybe even more for like tokens. This is a really good size deck box. We're gonna put the storage box away and then we're gonna go right into the deck. I'm gonna slide this out. I'm just gonna fan this out real quick. It looks like all the cards come common so there's no foils in this so let's just kind of go ahead and dive into what comes in the deck they start you off with your four gram grace one of which is going to be in your ride deck then you got the divine sister gatamousk that's how it's pronounced then we got our incision angel which is our grade one and then our starter which is starting magic star lily regular starter the incision angel is when it's wrote upon, choose a card from your hand and you discard it. So, and then you can draw a card. So draw then discard. So it's a good drop and draw. And then the grade two is when you would ride from the ride deck, you can ride with soul blast one instead of discarding one just to kind of save yourself some hand. So that's honestly really good as well. The fact that you can just soul blast instead of discarding kind of helps with the deck as well, especially if you have certain cards that maybe you do want to soul blast like maple as your you know, grade one ride instead of the grade one. So this might be pretty good for that as well. So here are your full play sets of Graham Grace, a pretty good ride line. That's pretty good to start, honestly. Let's go into the rest of the main deck. Going into the rest of the main deck, we do get two copies of Fernable, which is a really good support card for Graham Grace. I think most players are gonna end up running this at a full play set, but it's nice that it comes with two. You know, when you're using Graham Grace skill to put this in the back row, 
make an attack and after it attacks you you know give your vanguard or your grand grace an extra 10k in a drive so they go off really well together so this is probably going to want to be a play set and then it also comes with two copies of Fasado, which is also really good because you can throw this in the back row and you know you can swing with it to you know get some counter charge some soul charge and then you can move it to soul to draw a card which is nice so these are both really good cards for the grand grace deck so i'm glad we got some decent reprints out of this next up we get a full play set of i think this is a new card i don't think we've gotten this card yet knight of soaring refinement Diffin, uh, when your grade three or greater unit in the center column attacks, if you have Vanguard Grand Grace, the attacking unit gets 5K, so your back row unit. Front row, when this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard Grand Grace and your units in the center column attack two or more times this turn, so your back row and your Vanguard, you can counter blast one and this unit gets 15K. Not bad, it's just a 25K beater and you can give the unit in your center an extra five. It's not like, broken, but it's not bad. We do get two copies of Cadwalla, so that's actually really nice. So this was from the Youthburg trial deck. It also got reprinted in the Festival Booster. So nice to see that we're getting some Cadwalla action back. So what Cadwalla does is at the end of the battle that it attacked, you soul boss one, retire it. Look at the top three, choose one from among it, and then you can put it into your hand. The rest are gonna be shuffled. And if you didn't add anything to your hand, uh, it has to be a grade two or greater, you can draw a card. It also comes with four language hat, which I think is actually really, really cool, just because language hat is a card that lets you boost. Uh, if you have a grade three in the soul, which you pretty much will because of the Graham Grace effect to move the center unit back to the soul, so this will be a 15K beater or booster, which is really nice. So I think this is a really good addition to the deck. I think this is the biggest plus is the four Drilling Angel that come in this thing. So Drilling Angel is just a really, really good Keter Sanctuary card in my opinion. The fact that you can put anything from drop into soul and then maybe call something off the top of your deck from the top three, if it's the same name as the card that you put in the soul. This is a great deck or a great card in Thagrea. Uh, it's a really helpful card in Minerva. So this card is pretty sought after. So the fact that you get a full play set in this thing is really nice. So this is gonna help a lot. Grand Grace does use soul for its cost. So being able to um, help with that is really nice. That is it for the grade twos. It comes with three copies of Sin Bluger. Am I saying that right? So what this does is it's very simple. If your opponent's at grade three, it gets 5K. So it's a 13K booster or beater. So can't go wrong with that, you know, just a simple boost. Two copies of Painkiller Angel, which eh, I feel like they could have given us the four. I don't know why just the two was fine, but you know, I guess it's better than nothing, but uh, Painkiller is still good. And the battle when it boosted, Soul Blast, retire it, get to draw a card, so. This is actually, actually really nice. It comes with four copies of the good PG. Most of these trial decks or start decks are gonna come with that kind of wonky PG where like, oh, you still have to discard no matter how many cards are in your hand. But this one is the one from DBT06, where if you have one or less in hand, you don't need to discard. So that's actually really cool. I'm glad that they brought this back. So you get four PGs in the Grand Grace set. And now we're just gonna move on to our triggers. Starting off, we got the designated over trigger, which is Armar to Noah, which kind of makes sense because you have grade three rear guards, you have a grade three in your back row that's gonna attack most likely. So Checking this with the drive checks and then being able to get another twin drive from the back row is nice. Then for the rest of the triggers, it comes with four more vanilla crits, then another four vanilla crits. Uh, it does not come with the nice um, blade feather dragon, unfortunately. Same goes for the draw triggers. We get three copies of operating angel. So, and unfortunately it's not the uh, the one that gets shield, but then it also, also does come with four copies of palpitation angel as your heal trigger. So very, simple vanilla trigger lineup. You're obviously gonna change out these draws for the better draws, the ones with the shield. The crits you can honestly kind of stick with. I always say that the Blade Feather Dragon is like not really necessary, but it does help. So you can kind of get away with it. So that's it for the main deck. It does come with these extra cards, which I'll get into. So it comes with one copy of Tunar. Uh, so Tunar is nice because it helps with counter charge. So if you have three or more face down cards, this moves the soul, you counter charge, uh, so it fills your soul and it gets you kind of blast back. We do get one copy of Kyvery, which is really cool because this is a really expensive card. Um, it does suck that we only get one copy though because Kyvery is such a good card. It's when place, counter blast one, soul blast one, top three, 
choose a card from among it that's grade two or less and call it. And if you didn't call it, you can add it to your hand. So you can add a grade three to your hand or you can add an order to your hand, which is nice. So this is still really good because it helps fill your board and it helps add grade threes to your hand for Persona Ride. We get one Wayward Therapy Angel, which is when it's discarded. If you have a grade three Vanguard, Soul Blast one, you can call this to rear, which is nice because you know, you are gonna be discarding somewhat for the skills of Fern Fernable. So Fernable does have a discard cost, so you can discard Wayward Therapy just so you can call it back which is nice. One copy of Latch. I think this is interesting. I think this should have just been a full playset in the main deck. Back row and the end of the battle that you are Vanguard of Grand Grace. At the end of the turn, if you have a Vanguard of Grand Grace, you retire it, choose a grade three in your soul, put it back in your hand. I think this should have just been a playset for the deck, but you know, it comes like as a little extra card. And lastly, we get one Gratis Grudale. That's just because Persona Ride is really important for the Grand Grace skill. So you wanna make sure that you can, you know, get off your Persona Ride if you don't have another grade three in hand. Uh, these are really good reprints. I'm just kind of sad that they only come in as one ofs, but you know, what can you do? That's it for the Grand Grace unboxing. So the goal of Grand Grace is basically to Persona Ride. Your Persona Ride activates in the back row as well and has the actability to, you know, call a card to the back row. Your back row card can swing. So, and then at the end of the battle, the back row card attack, you move it to soul and draw a card. So there's a lot of like big, big number and multi-attack with Grand Grace, which is kind of fun. So I think it's a really, this is honestly a really good deck for entry level players in my opinion. All right, we're opening up Favreniel, which is finally making its debut to standard. Go ahead and slide this out oh, and take a look at the deck box. This also just looks really sick. This is such a cool storage box in general. So go ahead and open this up. We got our Favreniel deck box, which also looks really sick. Got the clear back, really good quality box. We got the Favreniel deck and we got our Favreniel sleeves. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the sleeves aside. I'm gonna open that, the deck box. It's got the same Velcro opening, good quality. This doesn't feel flimsy at all. This is such a good storage box in general. This is also just a really, really, really good product in my opinion. So um, then you got your sleeves for your deck and we're just gonna go ahead and open up that deck. So we're gonna put this aside, slide this out and do a little quick fan out. We got the one Favreniel, but you'll notice that that is it. There is no other copy a Favreniel. And if you don't already know what the card does, you're probably wondering why, but we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Favreniel's first skill says you may only have one copy of Purgatory Dragon Deity Favreniel. At the beginning of your main phase, your opponent chooses one of their rear guards, retires it. And if you did not ride this turn, this unit gets 10K and a crit. When your opponent's rear guard is retired during your turn, you can put a card from your hand into soul and draw a card. And then the other skill is at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, if the sum of the grades of Dark State's cards in your soul is 13 or more, you can counterblast two to stand this unit and it gets drive minus one. So you get a restand, you get 10K and a crit, and it's a restander. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the ride line. Our grade two is Gear Rhinoceros of Barreling Impulsion. When you would ride from the ride deck, you can ride with Soul Blast one instead. So it's similar to the Grand Grace one. The grade one is when it says Road Upon, draw a card, choose a card from your hand, discard it, just like the Grand Grace one. And our starter is exactly like every other starter, but it's got some Gear Chronicle aesthetic, which is cool. But just like every starter when Road Upon, if you went second, draw. So that is it for the ride deck that they give us. Going on to the main deck, comes with four copies of Zelimort. So Zelimort has the skill of act. Count plus one, put this to soul. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Choose one from among them, call it to rear, and you put the rest in your soul. So helps you fill your board, helps you fill your soul, just because Five Neil wants to get to that 13. So definitely a really good support card for that. Then it also comes with four copies of Scythe Dragon, which is Act, so plus two. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. So you can activate that retire effect for Favreniel. And the second ability is when this attack hits, you can soul charge two. So that means it can swing at rear guards for pokes and you can still get that soul charge, which is pretty big. So getting a full play set of that is pretty helpful. We got a bunch of grade threes uh, in this set. So I'm just gonna move these over here. We got 
Four copies of Time Jarrett Dragon, which is when this is placed on rear, put a card from your hand to soul and draw a card. So that's helping you fill up your soul. So speaking of more grade threes, it does come with four copies of Herodus, which is at the end of the battle, this attacked a Vanguard. If you have a Vanguard, a Faverneal, put this into your soul, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it to trigger that retire ability. And when it's in the soul at the beginning of your right phase, if you have a Vanguard or a Faverneal, bind this card, discard a card from your hand and activate Persona Ride. So this is basically what's gonna make it so that you can get that 10K to your front row and your 20K to your Vanguard. So you don't need to really re-ride, you just need extra copies of Crotus. So that was it for the grade threes. Now we're gonna move on to the grade twos. Comes with four copies of Squalid Freaks. I love that name. In the soul, if you did not ride this turn, this card gets grade plus two. Even better for the Fire Renewal deck. When your grade three or greater Vanguard attacks, if you did not ride this turn, you can bind this card and all your front row get another 5K. So that's just to kind of help push for game as well. So moving that off to the side. And it comes with two copies of Asherta and Asherta's skill lets you move it to the soul after you guard with it. So it gets an extra five shield and it can help for your soul. So since you need 13 grades, being a grade two is gonna help out with that as well. So, but that's it for the grade twos. We're now gonna go into the grade ones. Comes with two copies of Gunga Round, which is honestly kind of sick. I love that we're actually seeing really good reprints in these uh, deck sets. So in Gunga Ram is when it's placed, you soul charge one, and then you can act Soul Blast three to draw a card. You're probably not gonna use Gunga Ram for the draw, but you know, still being able to soul charge uh, on place is really nice. Comes with two copies of Fiend of the Netherworld Ling. When it's placed on rear, you look at the top two cards of your deck, choose a card from among them, put it into your soul, and you put the rest on the bottom of your deck. So pretty simple. Uh, and then lastly, for the grade ones, we do get four copies of that really good PG, the one where if you have one or less in hand, you do not have to discard. So again, I'm really glad that we're reprinting these type of PGs in these like beginner friendly starter decks. And now we're gonna move on into triggers. We got our Gamma Geld, which is our go-to Dark States trigger. This makes the most sense just because Fiverr Neil is gonna restand. So if you get an over trigger, not only possibly give 100 million to your Vanguard, but that extra 10K plus a crit is gonna make Fiverr Neil really, really devastating for the rest of the game. There's just a lot of really good additions to the fact that this being the OT in the deck. Crits are the same. We got our eight vanillas, comes with four draws and four heals. So we don't get the fancy, uh, you know, shield ones, but you know, you're probably gonna replace them out later. Um, interesting choice for the draws, maybe fronts are better, but I'm not sure. The draws probably are the better choice just so you can see cards in your hand for the Favre Neal plays. So, but uh, still a pretty good lineup. Just gotta change out those draws for those uh, 10K shield draws. And now getting into the extra cards, comes with one copy of Eligos or Eligos. This is a really, really good card. And I don't think, I think this is the first time this card is being printed. Uh, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a Vanguard of Favreneal in its name, put one other rear guard into soul and you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Then if the sum of the grades of Dark State's card in your soul is 13 or greater, you cannot charge. So this is gonna help propel you into your Favreneal turns because you need the Counter Blast two. So being able to get that counter charge off that is helpful. I'm just kind of mad that they only give you one copy of this because this is such a really important card for the deck. But going on into the rest of the cards that are given, it does come with one copy of Crimson Expeller. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, you Soul Charge one, and then Soul, kind of lost one, put this in the drop, Soul Charge one, choose one of your Vanguards and it gets 10K. So that's really good because you're restanding your Favreneal. Comes with one, Falk Performer, which is nice because that's really good for Dreadjeweled and other Dark States decks. So, you know, having this in there is nice. Again, really wish we got extra play sets or extra copies of this card because it would just be really good for like circulation. Speaking of cards that should really be heavy in circulation, we need more Brainwash Swirlers, but it comes with one Brainwash Swirler, which is nice. And then we got the one Gratis Gradale, similar reasons. It's to help activate Persona Ride without needing to ride a grade three. So, you know, you got that going for you. Um, but that is it for the Favreniel box. We're gonna go ahead and get into the Orphis box. 
And last but not least, got the Orphist stand-up deck set. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut into this, get this opened up. And like before, we're just gonna slide this part out and get a good look at our storage box, which looks insanely sick. Like this is just such a cool box. I know I've said that about all of them, but these are all just really, really nice. So we got our Orphis deck box, our Orphis deck, and our awesome Orphis sleeves. This is really, really cool. All right, put the sleeves away, gonna open up the box. Same quality as the other deck boxes. It has the little Velcro. It's really, really sturdy plastic. So it's gonna hold your deck really well. It can hold up to a double sleeved card deck, which is really nice. And got our sleeves in there so that you can sleeve your deck and then double sleeve it later. And now we're gonna go ahead and open up our Orphist deck. Sliding this off, do a quick fan. We got our full play set of Orphist. We got our ride line and some pretty good cards in there. So getting started, we do got our four copies of Orphis, which is the Orphis from the Festival Booster, which is Orphis Regis or Regis. When this is placed on the Vanguard Circle, choose up to one world card from your hand or drop and you just put it in the order zone for free. So that does not count as your playing in order for the turn. So something to keep in mind. When this unit attacks, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, Counterblast 1, discard a card from hand, and for every two world cards in your order zone, call up to one Shadow Army token to rear, and this unit gets 5k until the end of the battle. The fact that the more and more uh, order cards that you build up to, the more tokens you generate, so this is just a really good card to kind of get yourself set up. And of course, we have Orifice Mask with DBT12 coming out very soon. So this is gonna be your go-to ride and then you're going to ride Orphis Mask on top of this. The rest of the ride line is our cardinal, typical ride line, the same one from set one. Uh, the grade two, when a world is put into, or a world is put into your order zone, choose one of your units and it gets five. During your turn, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, this gets 5K. Then we got our grade one, which is when this is placed on Van, search your deck for up to one world card, reveal it, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. So you can also then discard it for your grade two ride, and then you can activate the Regis by activating it from drop. And then we got our Cardinal starter. So we got our full Cardinal aesthetic going on here. It's pretty much the same ride line and nothing new, except for the fact that we have Orphis Regis instead of the OG Orphis. Now going into the main deck, we got four copies of Nuvoria. When this unit attacks, this gets 2K until the end of battle for each world in your order zone. When this unit is retired from rear, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, you can call Shadow Army token. So what's nice about this is it says when this is retired, meaning that if you call a token on top of it, you can call another token, which is really cool. So this is a really, really great card to have a full play set of. Then on to grade twos, we have Cardinal Draco, Kul Jamid. When your world is Abyssal, or if your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight, this gets boost and can intercept from the back row. Guard Circle, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, this gets 10K shield. So we got a little special interceptor for the deck, but uh, pretty sure you're gonna be replacing this for something better in the long run. Two copies of Cardinal Noid Grunder. When it's placed on rear from hand, if your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight, look at the top seven cards of your deck. If you do, choose one of the world cards from among them. If you do, choose two world cards from among them and put them into your, your drop zone and shuffle the deck. So it can help you with your Regisworfus plays by activating worlds from drop and or just filtering out your deck and trigger thinning, which is always good. Lastly, four copies of Polarxis Polar, Polarxis Dragon. God, that was difficult for me for some reason. When this is placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard with Orphis, Soul Blast 1, choose a world card with a different card name from the cards in your order zone, from your drop zone, and put it into the order zone. So it's just, 
you know, kind of helping you fill up your order, which is cool. When this card is put in the drop zone from your hand during your battle phase, if your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight, you may draw a card. So for those who are wondering at this point, what Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight is, it's basically based on the number of set orders in your order zone. So if you have one of these Dark Knight set orders, you're in Dark Knight. And if you have two or more, you're in Abyssal Dark Knight. So it's a very, very easy cost to get to. The, the fact that um, Orphus Regis gets you to Abyssal Dark Knight instantly is just honestly really good with for the deck. So that's it for the grade twos. Now we're going on to do the grade ones. Comes with two copies of Cardinal Principle, Calgola, which is when placed on rear. If your world is Dark Knight, Soul Charge 1. If Abyssal Dark Knight, Soul Charge 2. If your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, you can Soul Blast 1, retire this unit, and call a Shadow Army token. So being able to fill your soul and make some tokens, not bad. I can see this potentially staying, but I don't really know exactly what the uh, Orphus Mask list is gonna look like, but I can definitely see this getting dropped. But for now, I can, for newer players, this is still a really good uh, piece card just because you are gonna want some soul for the deck. Then last for grade ones in the main deck, we got those four copies of Violate Dragon. So when this is put in the guard circle, choose one of your units, can't be hit. If you have one or less in hand, you do not have to discard. If you have two or more, you do. Again, really glad that we're getting these in these uh, trial deck or start decks for new players. Then on to our triggers, over triggers, Eldo Breath, which is kind of on brand just because we're getting all the skill good over triggers. So this is the one that doubles the power and crit of all the units in your front row, which is really, really good. Then we got our full play set of triggers. So we got our aggressive dragon. We got our cardinal Draco. So we got our cardinal uh, themed cards. More cardinal themed cards. We got our draw triggers, which are vanilla and our cardinal heal trigger, which are also vanilla. So like I said earlier, you're gonna be switching out those draws for the one with shield, or you might run front triggers instead if you don't need the draw. Then we got our order cards. So it does come with three copies of Overcoming in Eternity, which is a set order. So you play this with Soul Blast 2. When it's in the order zone, if you only have world cards, you activate the following effects, which is if you have one card, it's Dark Knight, two cards, it's Abyssal Dark Knight. And the auto skill is when your Shadow Army token is placed, that unit gets 5k. So you just make all your Shadow tokens 5k stronger, which is honestly really, really good. Three copies of Howling Moonlit Knight. So similar cost, except you just play with Soul Blast 1. Same effect, um, it's with the Dark Knight and the Abyssal Dark Knight, but when this is put into the Order Zone, you can draw a card, which is nice. So you can Soul Blast 1 to kind of, you know, switch it out. So you put this down, draw a card. Lastly, for our World Orders, play this with Counter Blast 1. When this is put into the Order Zone, you call a Shadow Army token to your rear, and it's got the same effects as the other ones, which is if you have one world order, you're in a dark knight, two world orders, you're in abyssal dark knight. So honestly, the fact that this comes with nine world orders, it's pretty consistent, I would say. I really don't know how often the ratios are gonna change for this deck, but I, this, is, this is a really, really good start in my opinion. So then we're gonna get into the tokens. So you've been hearing a lot about these Shadow Army tokens. This is what they look like. They're just 15k beaters, but of course with the grade three world order, these are 20k beaters or boosters because they are grade ones with boost. So the whole point of the deck is to just flood your board with these tokens, call them during the battle phase, get those multi-attacks off. Um, it's just a really fun, aggressive deck for standard. So I feel like a lot of people are gonna have a lot of fun with the Orphus uh, deck set. So if you're new to Vanguard or you just wanna get into, into Brandgate, I honestly think this is a really good product to get you started. And lastly, much like the other two deck sets, it comes with a little like promo pack or like extra cards that are one ofs. This one being one copy of Robust, which is you count plus one, search your deck for up to one set order, and if your order zone has a card with the same card name as that card, you can put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. So it's kind of get more grade three set orders. When this unit attacks, choose two set orders with the same name from your order zone. 
If you chose two cards, this gets 10K. So it's just a, you know, fun little 23K beater. And you got one copy of Cardinal Draco Desta Jade. If your world is Dark Knight, it gets 2K. If it's Abyssal Dark Knight, it gets 5K. At the end of the battle of this attack, you retire three Shadow Army tokens to stand this unit. So get a nice little restand. Maybe you uh, got your Aldo Breath. All your front rows got that extra crit. You swing with this, Hundro Mill. And then you should retire three tokens, swing another hundo mill. So I don't know if this card is like really that important to the deck. At the one seems right, but I can see for like really aggressive plays, having multiple copies of this might come in handy. One copy of Combined Rusher. Um, that's a really, really good reprint uh, just because um, of the price and also the fact that a lot of people are running this in their ride deck just so they can soul blast it out early and call it back. What it does is when this attacks a grade three or greater, the order zone has two or more cards, it gets 10K, that's just free. And in the drop zone, when it's in the drop zone and you place a set order into the order zone, you kind of blast one and you call this to rear from the drop zone. So just being able to recycle itself is really good. One Boba Mine, because Boba Mine is just good. It's at the end of the battle boosted. If you have a set order, move to soul, counter charge. Counter charge is always good, but um, I think Orifice only really costs kind of last one. So I don't know if there's a really big counter blast issue with the deck, but you know what? It never hurts. Um, Boba Mine might still be helpful. And last but not least, it's not Gradale, it's Elementaria Sanctitude. That's right. Orifice players get Elementaria Sanctitude in their deck sets. So I think if you're brand new to Vanguard and you had to pick between the three, this card alone should sell you on buying this thing. So I'd say pick up the Orphus just because getting a free Elementaria is just huge. This is such an important card for standard, even for premium, this is such a good card. And I think it has more value than Gratis Gradale. So that's my two cents. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, thanks for sticking around and watching me open it up. All three of these things, these are really, really good products in my opinion. I understand that they come off a little pricey. I get that, but I still think that these are really good for new players. So if you're new to the new to the game, new to Vanguard, and you want to decide where to blow your money on shiny cardboard, I think this is a good start. I still think the Orphus one is the best one, just because it has new support coming up with set 12. The Favreniel one is cool just because it's kind of like a set exclusive. You can only get Favreniel from this thing. The Graham Grace one, eh. It's a good way to get into Keter Sanctuary, but there aren't any supporting cards that are here for Bastion. There really aren't any supporting cards that are really here for Youth Burke. If anything, it's really like you get some Minerva pieces, I guess, if you want to say, but um, I would say it's probably better if you wanted to pick up like a Bastion trial deck, if you wanna play Bastion, it's five bucks and you can get it on 50 cards for like three bucks. So I'd say go with that. But if you really, really, really wanna build Graham Grace, um, I'd say it's, it's worth it to pick up the product and then kind of add some pieces from there. All right, so that was my final two cents on the unboxing of these three boxes. Remember that we are doing a giveaway for each of these, one of these. So there'll be three winners three, and each one will get a random box. The goal is to get to 200 likes for this video. If this video gets to 200 likes, we will go ahead and release the information for that giveaway in the description below. So be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, tell them to like the video, tell them you might have a chance on winning a free Orphist deck set if they like the video. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you to 50 Cards for sponsoring this video and providing us with the boxes for the giveaway. So please be sure to check out 50 Cards and use code Nexus to get that discount of 5%. I'm gonna get going. Thank you guys for watching. Always appreciate you guys sticking around. And if you guys want, maybe we can get some games with these decks and see how they perform just on their own. Let us know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.